there is a chill in the air. Winter has arrived. It might be getting cold and windy outside, but that's no reason to hibernate until spring. There is a renaissance taking place in the sport of ice fishing that is totally revolutionizing the way people think about ice fishing. It's all new, it's all fun, and it's inspiring many to get out and enjoy winter. In the next 30 minutes, you'll have access to some of the best fishing minds in the ice fishing world who have totally redefined this popular sport. Join Tom Zanenko, author, lecturer, and tournament champion as he shows you the modern ice fishing revolution on Vexlar's Ice Fishing Today. Ice Fishing Today is a unique program linked to the World Wide Web, allowing you to learn even more ice fishing secrets that will double your fishing success. Don't go away. An exciting edition of Ice Fishing Today is coming your way. Welcome to Ice Fishing Today. I'm Tom Zanenko, your host. And on today's program, we've got a special treat for you because we're going to the edge of the angling frontier. Basically, we're headed off to the end of the road to take on some unbelievable opportunities for catching world record walleyes from Lake Tobin, Saskatchewan. We've got a group of intrepid anglers out here who are all living the same dream. They want to catch a world record. Stick around. We'll be back with more ice fishing today right after this. Dave Gens here with the amazing FLX28, a winter fishing sonar system that is changing the way we all ice fish. With digital depth, auto ranging, and five color display options, all packed into one amazing unit, the FLX28. Be sure to check out the entire family of Vexilar, the most reliable sonar system technology on the ice today. Vexilar sets the standards for quality, reliability, and performance. I won't go fishing without my Vexilar. To learn more, go to vexilar.com. To truly see the future, it's good to know the past. Which is why Clam Outdoors brings industry-leading engineering into every ice shelter that we create to outperform, outsize, and outclass the competition in every design and in every detail. Because it's not enough to just have been the first ones there. We also want to be the last ones standing. Clam Outdoors, bring it. Welcome back. This adventure begins with a flight from the USA to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. From there, it's a three-hour drive north to the city of Nipawin on the western shores of Lake Tobin, a 45-mile long reservoir created by two hydro dams on the Saskatchewan River in 1963. Daylight hours are short here, so packing gear and traveling is done in the darkness to maximize our daylight fishing hours. On this monster quest, our team is made up of three separate camera crews to document the big catch. From Fish Saskatchewan TV, co-host Neil Hughes, pro Canadian football player, he comes in real handy when you want to drill a lot of holes. Terry Allington, team videographer to document the big catch. Steve Bunka, co-host of Fishing Saskatchewan TV and co-creator of FishingSaskatchewan.ca. Andrew Smith, AKA Smitty, co-host of Fishing Saskatchewan TV and our equipment wrangler and great cook too. Tom Grunwall, veteran outdoor writer, author and host of TGO, Tom Grunwall Outdoors TV. For the next four days, these highly skilled anglers will push themselves to the limit in order to catch a world record walleye. So boys, uh... According to Navionics here, we're, looks like we're in the right spot. Uh, seven foot shelf over here, I think it'll be a good spot for tip ups. Uh, get some holes out here, we'll put some holes out here for some walleye. Looks like she's dropping down into about 30, 35 feet of water out here. Okay. Should be good. All right, Captain. Okay, right. let's do it. All right. So today, our strategy is super simple. We're looking for structure, we're looking for the river channel, and here we've got a nice point it goes from four feet all the way down to 35 feet. We're going to set tip up shallow. We're going to use uh, the deeper holes for walleye and we're going to nail them. I stay in shape in the off season. 
I drill holes. This is the uh, quick strike rig setup that we use fishing pike here at Tobin Lake. Um, it's a uh, home built rig uh, that I'm going to show you real quick here. You've got uh, wire leader material. This is nylon coated, uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 pound test. Um, on the outside, uh, we have number two trebles, Gamagatsu. Uh, these ones are barbless. Tobin Lake is a mandatory barbless water. And then in the middle, we've got a number eight uh, just to balance the bait. Um, we use large bait here. Uh, this is a herring. Um, anywhere from seven to about 12 inches uh, is great bait for these big pike. Uh, so we hook one hook in the head anywhere around the eyeball or cheek plate, one in the tail, and then the middle hook goes in the back so that the bait hangs pretty much horizontally, which is the presentation that we want for these pike. Um, we're just going to drop it down the hole and uh, wait for the big ones to come by. We're fishing about 11 feet. We've got a number of tip-ups set up, uh, depths ranging from uh, about 16 feet all the way down to 8 feet. Um, right now we don't have a lot of light hopefully we will by the middle of the day but when we've got low light conditions like this for fishing these big pike we like to hang the baits a little bit closer to the top we're going to use the Vexilar here the FL28 and uh, just measure the depth that we're going to set this bait to well, it's a little bit frozen so it's going to fall slowly we can see the bait going down we're on 11 feet And I want to hang it about four feet from the top of the hole. That's pretty close to where we are right now. I'm just going to tighten the reel up here. We're using the uh, original Polar Tip Up from HT Enterprises. It is a very nice little unit. Put that in there. And in fact, I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to set it about there. Okay. I'll lower the trip shaft. Tip up set. And we just wait for the monsters to come by. All right. Here's the walleye. There we get what we came for. This is a Lake Tobin fish. Lake Tobin fish are beautiful golden fish. This one came up and hit a, a lure called the Salmo Zipper. It has a rattle in it and really gets these fish pumped up big time. This is a beautiful specimen of what walleyes are all about. About a three, four pounder. Nice fish. Came right in and smacked it. We're in about 19 foot of water. Let's get this girl back in. Here we go. Now that fish, as you can see here, we're in the middle of this main channel area of the lake. And I call it a channel area because this is controlled by a flowage by a dam on one end. So there's an actually like a river channel that meanders through Tobin Lake. And so what we've done is we've systematically drilled holes until we found the edge of the, uh, and down south they would call it a creek channel. But here it's the edge of the river channel and these walleyes, and the current flows through here and packs walleyes into these specific areas. It may look like we're in the middle of nowhere, but actually we're on a key piece of structure in the middle of the lake. This is what Lake Tobin is all about. Wilderness fishing at its best, but I'm here looking for a world record walleye. I gotta get fishing. Easy. Let me just grab the line and pull them out. Yeah, no. What teamwork? What teamwork? Here she comes. Here she is. That's a nice walleye. Nice walleye. Ah. Good That's a nicer one. Neil did it. That you... one's on the uh, custom Len Thompson. Ooh. Folks, come on, take a look at his secret here. His secret is to add a little spinner and a little bit bigger hook, a red hook. He likes red hooks to his Len Thompson. And that is what the walleyes like today. Yeah.
That's a nice little tip. All right. And the reason, folks, he set the hook so hard, I'll be honest with you, he didn't tell you the full story. About five minutes ago, <laughs> quite possibly the world record walleye came up and ate his favorite Lynn Thompson spoon and broke his line. So now, to redeem himself, he caught this little baby walleye. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Put her back. <laughs> oh, Which one? Take the line there. Oh, we almost have him there. There he is. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. Turn it okay. Up. There you okay. Go, watch those hooks, Neil. Careful. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> Look Beauty. at the body on that. Oh, baby. Look at how yeah. fat that thing is. <laughs> this is yeah, that real quick. Yeah. I was worried about that when it got to my side, pulling underneath the belly. Like that. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> that away, Smitty. That away. That's a nice one. Here. Now that, oh. that is a Tolvan Lake pike oh. right there. Good effort. Oh nice. boy. Look yeah, at that she beast. She is a beauty. Big mama. Big, big, Should we get, get a quick <laughs> stick on her? Just yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, sure. Let's see. You want see. to straighten her out? I'm guessing 39. Uh, Yeah, she's a little... Well, if she was straight, she'd be 38. Yeah. Nice fish. In 25 fish. around. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a 20 pound Holy bike. Dick. Look at the back on him, eh? Oh my like goodness. Just... So we're really excited to talk about the ice fishing here in Saskatchewan. We've got three lakes in the south of our province, easily accessible, angler friendly, that will blow your socks off. We've got Last Mountain Lake, down by Regina, giant walleye, giant pike, Diefenbaker Lake, world record rainbow, world record burbot, uh, unbelievable. And here we have Tobin Lake. Now, Tobin Lake is one of those special lakes that anything could happen at any time. Uh, you can come to the town of Nippewan, really angler friendly out here. I mean, people really want to help you out when you come here. You can go to the uh, Nippewan tourism website. They have a fishing map which actually shows you pretty good spots and gives you a really good starting point. You've got year-round resorts all around the lake. So no matter where you want to fish in the lake, you can have a place to stay. They're going to help you out. Uh, they plow roads out to the, some really good spots. Uh, really good. And then lastly, we've got fishingsaskatchewan.ca. If you want to get the latest up-to-date information about fishing in Saskatchewan on these lakes, go there and check it out. There's thousands of posts about these lakes, up-to-date information, and it will really help you out. But people often say, how can you tell the size of the fish uh, with a Vexilar? And my gain needs to be turned down low. But see the signal that my lure gives back? Now the lure is reflecting back on the top of the lure. It's not reflecting on the side of the lure, but the top of the lure. And see the size of the fish that's coming to it right below it? It's not a very big target. In other words, the back of the fish is not very large. It's not reflecting a big sonar signal. So I'm going to stay down. See that, see that was the fish that I just got. See he went, went back down. And he wasn't very big. I'm looking for a bigger fish because when I expect a world record walleye to come into my display, it'll glow very large red. It'll be much larger than my lure. There's, oh, I missed him. And uh, <laughs> I didn't miss him, folks. I actually caught him. Now, and I was telling you about how you can tell size of the fish, and that was a perfect example. You know, you say, well, the fish were there, but they weren't biting. Do you really want to catch this kind of fish? Because the sonar, the Vexlar sonar, told me that the signal was roughly the same size as the reflective surface of the lure that I was using. You saw how the signals looked about the same size? I was expecting to see a big red signal. And when people are ice fishing, they often say, I fish for big red lines. Well, this fish doesn't reflect much of a, a line. <laughs> so when I saw that the target wasn't much bigger than the actual lure I was using, I knew for a fact that I was probably wasting my time. And that's why I went back to the bottom hoping to find another one. But. Uh, this little critter needs to grow up and I'll see him in a few more years. But you can actually tell by understanding the, the, the strength of the sonar signal, you can actually pretty much tell the size of the fish you're gonna get 
they're gonna, that's gonna bite. But you can only do that if your gain is set as low as possible. If you over-modulate or over-turn up your gain setting, everything will look big and blobby. Even your lure will look gigantic in size. So you don't want to uh, overset your gain. The gain has to be very low to do that. And obviously the walleyes are biting like crazy right now on Lake Tobin. And this could be the next world record walleye in about 20 years. Unfortunately, I don't have 20 years to wait, and neither do you, so I let him go and see if I can catch another one. Still ice fishing with the old heavy gas augers. Tired of having to wash your hands because they smell like gasoline, or sweating too much while you're cranking on the old hand auger? Check out this revolutionary product. It's called the K-Drill, and it's lightweight. It's only nine pounds, and it's specifically designed for your cordless brushless drill. It's got a heavy duty aluminum shaft and a tool steel design blade that's gonna change the way you ice fish. Hole hop around or reopen some old holes. Check out icefishingtoday.com. For all you Vexilar fans out there, you can now consistently see your depth digitally with Vexilar's digital depth indicator. The device is easy to install and constantly shows you exactly how deep you are. And with the push of a button, you can see your battery status as well. This device will fit on any Vexilar unit, no matter how old it is. If you want to learn more, check us out online at Vexilar.com. It's exciting to see the fish targets just down here below us, and I'm trying to get them excited to hit the zipper. I shake it, I snap it, I don't let it sit too still. I let it sit too still, and I just they lose interest in the item. So. I'm going to keep jiggling it, and hopefully I can get their attention to come up off the bottom and hit it. The advantage with the uh, zipper is that it rattles and it tracks fish a long ways. I like to use a chubby darter in the same application, and I may try, but now that the, the sun is starting to go down and it's getting a little darker out, it's always good to have a little rattle to get their attention. Ooh, ooh, oh, he missed it. See the bait's tangled? You see the fish is right below it? It's a good one, too. If I can just get him to bite, come on, fish. Come on, he's chasing it. Come on, come on, chase it. Come on, come on, you want it. Come on, you want it. Come on, <laughs> come on fish, come on. Oh, I can't stand it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he lost interest. Okay, come on, I'll just sit here and see if I get his attention. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's oh, oh, he missed it. Come on fish, come on, oh, come on fish. He's making a pass at it. You can see, folks, I'm keeping the bait above him. See, this is my lure here, and this is the fish weight, and he, he'll, he sits back, oh, and then he, then he makes a move, and he charges the bait, and hopefully I can hook him, but he's, he's coming up shallower and shallower. I got him halfway up the water column now, and he still hasn't hit it. Come on, come on, come on, little girl. Come on, little girl. This is great. <laughs> this is crazy what this fish is doing. What I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to go to the 10-foot mode and make it really big so you can see all the action. Now, see, you can see my... See, here's, here's, look at the fish. Look at him chase it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's fun. Now, if I can just get him to bite. Now, I'm going to hold the bait here. And I'm going to shake it and see if he shows up. Here he comes. He's right on it. He's right on it. I want to keep him coming up and I have him keep him chasing the bait. That's the idea, is to keep the bait above him so he can try to, am he thinks he's ambushing me. There he got him, got him. There we go. Oh, it's not a walleye, it's a tulipy. Now tulipy are primarily what these big walleyes are feeding on. And you wonder why Lake Tobin can be so big, they can grow so big, is because these are a greasy, oily fish that are full of protein. And they love to bite small baits, and they're fun to catch. Especially with the Vexilar, as you saw, the fish was chasing it all the way up to the surface. That was a fun bite. But now I want to see what's been eating these. And this is where that 33-inch walleye is going to be. Let's get her back down in the hole. Here we go. One tulipy back in the hole. Nice and easy. Not ready, not ready. Not close, though. Here. Oh, missed him again. You're okay. Yeah, guess gotta get his head oh. turned. I'll tell you what, all of a sudden it started happening. I just had one come up off the bottom rocket, hammer mine. It felt like a good fish. I didn't get to see it. 
immediately after that, Smitty hit one. Bang, he hit one. This is a good walleye. I, this one I saw. That's it. That's it. You're playing him well. You're playing him well. Yeah, it's good. Not away. Not away. Not away. Get him up. You got it. There you go, Tom. Oh. Come here, girl. Oh. oh. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Woo. Oh. Oh. Atta boy, Tom. Smitty. <laughs> oh, oh. Here, girl. Ah, it is Ripper, really? cold now. Oh, nice. You got her? That's a oh, hog. Goodness. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Look at the belly oh, on that. Boy. Tobin right. eyes. I'll grab the stick. That's we got Tobin fish. eyes. <laughs> Woo. And same as you. Uh, came in real came aggressive. It. Hit yeah. one time. I missed it and dropped right back down. Uh, hit her again. And yeah. just quick jig. Real aggressive. This is what we've been looking for the last couple of days. They haven't really turned on, but your hit and this yeah. fish. All of a sudden. Uh, those are some nice aggressive All of ones. a sudden. Can yep. you get a measurement on that yeah, one? Yeah, let's check it. What are you guessing? 29? 28? 27. Who needs a ruler? 27 and a half. 27 and a half. That, now, Beauty. now at Tobin, that's approaching nine pounds. Yeah, right around there. Yeah. Solid eight, nine pound fish. Not nice. quite a world record, but a fish of a lifetime for a lot of people. Yeah, that's a gorgeous walleye. All right. That's a tall ball, guys. <laughs> this never happens to professional anglers. I can't get my glove off. I can't get the line untangled. Tom's looking at me saying, oh, I'm not going to touch it. And I'm trying to figure out how to untangle his reel. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we're ready. Oh, he's still on there. The drama. <laughs> the drama. <laughs> Miracles do happen. Oh, oh, he's flushing like in the hole. It's a jack! Oh, baby, yeah! Oh, eat that lure, too, huh? Holy they God. like that lure. He sure did. It was a jack attack. <laughs> it was a jack attack. That was quite the spectacle. He was, no, no. We professionally landed this fish with the skill and years of experience. Notice I didn't get excited. Yeah. Notice I didn't get, Perfect. yeah, it was just, it was just. <sighs> Bingo. There you go. When you're using barbless hooks, even though this fish literally sucked it way down, we didn't really harm him at all. So he's good to go and release him again. And there we go. Thank you, fish, for giving me the opportunity to make a fool of myself. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Come on, okay. come on, come on, come on, nose down. Thanks for witnessing all of this. I've Good never job. seen anything yes. like that. I know, it was, it was a, true, a true professional, wasn't it? A true I thought professional. The was going down the hole for it was, a second. It was, it was unbelievable. <laughs> hey folks, I'd like to set you up for what you're about to see. Please understand that for the last four days, we've been out here working our hardest to try to catch a world record walleye. It's not easy. I mean, we're in the right place. We're on Lake Tobin. This is where legends are made. And after four days of fishing, we had yet to catch a true Tobin tanker. And then, with one hour left on the fourth and last day, Steve yells out, I got a big target on my Vexilar. And watch what happens next. Close. Oh yeah, it's a nice walleye. Okay, Careful. she's coming up. Yeah, yeah. Easy. There you go. Oh, 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 oh
at least, oh, it, I gotta get the scale on this. Yeah. This is a true tanker, folks. Uh -huh. To see this alive in real life, it's almost surreal. Unbelievable. You're an unbelievable angler. Where almost there. Steve? We were this <laughs> short of making a world record. Just this short. This short. You're the hero of the day so far. So far. <laughs> this is a 32 inch walleye, folks. 11 and a half pounds. Actually, almost 11 and three quarter pounds. This is a big as walleye as probably anyone will ever see in their lifetime. And that's just a semi-average fish here on Tobin. We're looking for fish that are go 15, 16, 17 pounds. But Steve got them. Or her, I should say. Got her. How, what was it like? You just come up and hit a jig? Came Look. up off the bottom. There were some bait fish in the area. She came up and just whacked it. So I knew right away as it wasn't a small fish. What a magnificent Beautiful. fish. Beautiful. I'm going to get her back. Guys, can we get her in the water? Uh, if we're OK. One on the There, buddy. Just on course. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Yes. Oh. <laughs> And uh, look what's coming out of its mouth. The guy with the five of diamonds tattooed on his leg. Yeah, yeah. That there might be bigger. Holy. <laughs> that is long oh, fish. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's going to catch three fish in four days. That's, That's a long dude. That's a dandy. She's gone. She swam away. Dave Gens here with the amazing FLX28, a winter fishing sonar system that is changing the way we all ice fish. With digital depth, auto ranging, and five color display options, all packed into one amazing unit, the FLX28. Be sure to check out the entire family of Vexilar, the most reliable sonar system technology on the ice today. Vexilar sets the standards for quality, reliability, and performance. I won't go fishing without my Vexilar. To learn more, go to vexlar.com. To truly see the future, it's good to know the past. Which is why Clam Outdoors brings industry-leading engineering into every ice shelter that we create to outperform, outsize, and outclass the competition in every design and in every detail. Because it's not enough to just have been the first ones there. We also want to be the last ones standing. Clam Outdoors, bring it. Still ice fishing with the old heavy gas augers? Tired of having to wash your hands because they smell like gasoline? Or sweating too much while you're cranking on the old hand auger? Check out this revolutionary product. It's called the K-Drill and it's lightweight. It's only nine pounds and it's specifically designed for your cordless brushless drill. It's got a heavy duty aluminum shaft and a tool steel design blade that's gonna change the way you ice fish. Whole hop around or reopen some old holes. Check out icefishingtoday.com. Well, folks, wasn't that a photo finish to a great fishing adventure? In the last hour of the last day, we scored not one, but two giant Tobin tankers. Now, Steve's fish came in at a whopping 12 pounds, and Terry's came in at 11 and a half pounds. Both of these fish were their personal bests through the ice. And I tell you, I will never forget the sight of those big heads coming out of the ice. And I do want to apologize for the video quality because the sun was going down and I tell you, we were losing light fast. But I tell you, I think you saw just how massive those fish were. And I tell you, for a group like us who had worked so long and so hard to catch those fish, it was a true Hollywood ending. I must admit, it was a great time. Well, for everyone here at Ice Fishing Today from Tobin Lake, I'm Tom Zanenko and remember, your ice fishing adventures begin when you turn your Vexilar on. That's a wrap, guys. I've got a plane to catch. Ice Fishing Today is brought to you by these fine sponsors.
To learn more about today's show or discover more about the great sport of ice fishing, be sure to check out icefishingtoday.com. 